Hello, this is my children's book, Boys United, which is from the Football Academy series. Um, and it's the first of six books um, about a group of children, a group of boys who play for um, a football team called United. It's a fictional football team and it's, um, it's kind of a made up football team. The first book is about Jake. And Jake, who you can see on there, um, is it's kind of the way into the whole series so i'm just going to read you the beginning of the series the the book which is the beginning of the series um, and it's about jake when he's before he plays for united at the football academy he's playing for his local team and then i'll tell you about these ever since he could walk jake oldfield had played football and ever since he could remember he had dreamed of being a professional footballer not because he wanted to be rich and famous like Stephen Gerrard and Wayne Rooney. It wasn't that. He wanted to be a footballer because he loved footballer football. If football could be his job, that would be great. Did he want to go to a boring office every morning like his mum? No. Or to a factory like his dad? No. Both of them indoors all day. Jake wanted to be on football pitches, running, tackling and scoring goals. Jake collected the ball in midfield and looked up. There was no one from his village team ahead of him, nor to the side of him. Just three defenders from the other team, then a keeper and the goal. It was down to Jake to win this game. When the first defender approached, Jake waited for him to come really close, then tapped the ball forward, sprinting past him. One down, two to go. The second defender came clattering forward, lunging into Jake at full speed. But Jake just sidestepped him and the defender ended up on his backside in a muddy puddle. Two down, one to go. The third defender was waiting, perfectly still. Jake had tried to get past him several times during the match, but this defender was quick and whipped the ball off Jake's feet, whether Jake put it to his left or to his right. So this time, Jake chipped him. For a second, the defender didn't know what to do. He just stood there, and a second was all that Jake needed. With the ball in the air, he ran past the last defender and into the penalty area. And as the ball came down, Jake hammered it into the top left corner of the goal. The keeper dived, but it was no use. The ball was in the back of the net before he hit the ground and Jake was wheeling away to celebrate his winner. And that's the beginning of the story, but Jake's got a problem like most characters in most books do. Um, this one, he's told constantly that he's too small to play um, in a football team. So along with, um, with the help of his dad, who in one bit in the story, takes him to the library and shows him books about other footballers who play for England that weren't that tall. And he, he works out how he's going to become a professional footballer and he begins um, at the age of 11 to try to have that dream come true. But I wanted to show you these because this book, out of my books, this is my best-selling book. Um, and it's, um, as well as being sold in England, it's been translated into other languages. So you can read it in Welsh. You can read it in um, this one's Albanian, so this is Albanian, which is just above Greece. Um, this one is the Hungarian one. There's also, you can read it in Japanese, um, Swedish. This one's in Swedish, this is a nice hardback, isn't it? Um, Chinese as well, and all six of them in here is like the Chinese edition. And finally, most excitingly, the Spanish one. And the Spanish one's kind of got a weird twist to it because um, in this, where is it? Here it. In this bit here, that bit there. When it got published, um, you could scratch that area there, and it smell. It made it smell like brass. Well, that's what they said it did anyway. Um, but actually, it does a bit still. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.